guys welcome to my channel it's me the truck driver guy with you today and today guys i would like to tell you about pre-trip inspection and what you need to do uh, as a beginner uh, before you drive uh, before you start your day uh, okay guys first of all of course you need to make sure there is no leaks of any kind when you get up in the morning always check if there is any kind of leaks if it's uh, nothing leaking then uh, what you do what you do is uh, you check your oil of course always check your oil make sure your oil level is okay and uh, it's uh, you know it's not it's not hurting the engine then you, you guys always uh, check uh, a fluid a uh, uh, a fluid for the engine uh, uh, what is that called I forgot uh, let's see coolant coolant uh, you always check your coolant uh, make sure it's level and everything is okay and uh, I mean if I would be you uh, uh, washer fluid you, you always want to keep it at the right level because um, because uh, it's always good to have uh, washer fluid in your semi truck then guys you always need to look for any kind of uh, any kind of leaks or uh, any kind of leaks or any kind of uh, like uh, damages I would say uh, for example if your engine leaking if you if your engine leaking uh, uh, you immediately have to no notify the company because uh, the reason why uh, if you have for example uh, leaking oil and stuff why do you need to no notify your company because because guys you need to notify your company because uh, if you will not do that then uh, if you get uh, when you go on the wait station uh, they will put you out of service and uh, it's gonna be very 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 costly repairs for your company so make sure make sure that you always uh, tell your company if you have any kind of leaks any kind of leaks guys this is very important uh, of course guys you always need to check your uh, pressure in the tires this is very important as well uh, because uh, your your pressure in the tires in the tires is crucial for your success for example if one tire would be at uh, 80 uh, psi and another would be at 110 most likely uh, uh, one of them will blow up because it's not leveled correctly uh, of course guys when you when you check a frame of the trailer make sure it's not broken right here because it would be broken right here at the very bottom uh, you would get uh, they, they, they would put you out of service as well because it's against the law to drive uh, like that it's against the law uh, another thing guys another thing you always you always uh, you always need to check your uh, connections if it's connected right uh, because uh, I mean things happen uh, it's there is a different people on the truck stops that they can play with you guys they can change it they can you know they can do a lot of nasty stuff so uh, <coughs> always make sure that you check your connections as well also guys if you have a reefer like I do uh, then what you need to do you need to uh, start uh, start your reefer and check if it's uh, working properly if not of course you need to no notify your company so they can take care of it another thing you guys always need to look for is that uh, fifth wheel uh, because uh, you need to check uh, fifth wheel fifth wheel handle uh, if you if some people would actually pull it uh, let me show you you know you know that handle that you pull out to um, to unhook the trailer some some people would actually uh, pull it even though it's a, it's a criminal uh, criminal charge some people just uh, play those dirty games and you can actually lose your trailer on the freeway so always make sure you check that and again guys uh, if you have a if you have a reefer you always need to check your fuel level in the reefer because if it's gonna be empty your uh, reefer gonna gonna shut down your engine gonna shut down in your reefer 
and you're gonna have a lot of problems and of course guys you always need to check all these connections and uh, make sure everything is uh, it's it's perfect no leaks no cracks no damage everything is secure uh, make sure your tire is in the good shape and uh, it doesn't have any uh, uh, and of course uh, like I said about the pressure in the tires it has to be it has to be correct and it has to be um, you know uh, it has to be same it cannot be uh, and you, you can you can uh, you can have your pr uh, pressure in the tires at 100 psi it's it's okay 100 psi it's fine and of course guys you always need to go look around and make sure that nobody hit you you don't have any damage in, in on your truck on your trailer make sure that everything is uh, safe uh, then make sure your your uh, uh, your your uh, th th those things are on because another thing if, if you're not gonna have those I don't know I forgot what what they called I apologize for that but anyways you know what I'm talking about uh, if you <coughs> uh, if you don't have one of those it's a violation and uh, it's uh, it's it's a bad thing for the company actually guys uh, as you are uh, new and you you're watching this video because you just started the tracking uh, I want to tell you that every single violation now that you're getting now for example if let's say it's a leaking engine and uh, it's not your fault it's a company vehicle guess what it's still going on your record if, if you get out of service it's still going on your record yeah it's going on the company record but it's going on your record as well and when you get few out of services eventually your license is gonna be suspended and uh, it's just gonna be a big mess for you even if it's not mainly your fault even though um, you know because right now we live in the safety age when they want you to uh, make sure that your truck trailer your tires all your equipment is uh, you know up to date and doesn't have any major problems uh, and no leaking like I said it's very important guys if, if you get pulled over on the weight station and, and your engine is leaking oil, I mean, that's gonna be out of service and uh, it's gonna be very expensive, costly charges for your company. Uh, so uh, make sure make sure that you're doing your, your job, uh, check everything. Also guys, uh, make sure you're checking your brakes and... Uh, uh, it's it's very easy to see uh, if it's if it's like a if it's like a big uh, big space between uh, brake pads and brakes, then of course it's a problem. But if there is a small space, then it's okay. It doesn't have to be more than I don't think it's probably like half inch. Uh, no, no, not half. Uh, probably like uh, about half inch. Yeah, uh, cannot be more than that. And, uh, and yeah guys, that's uh, of course, I mean, um, make sure your mirrors, uh, your windows is not broken, your uh, windshield is, you know, properly attached, has no damage, everything is secure, I mean, uh, make sure that you're, when you're, when you're doing your uh, pre-trip inspection, make sure that you check every single corner of your truck, because uh, it will save you in the long run, uh, because if you, if you will get that kind of, you know, that kind of, um, you know, if you would do that every single day, then it's going to be like your habit, and you need to have it as a habit, because, uh, you know, it will save you money in the long run, it will save money for your company, and will save money for you. Okay, guys, well, it was the truck driver guy with you today. Uh, thanks a lot for watching my videos, subscribe to my channel, comment below, share, share those videos and all of you guys drive safe out there and bye-bye. Uh,